So we've made radical improvements to the design of Optimus um, while increasing the functionality, but making it actually possible to manufacture. Tesla bot Optimus is proud to be one of the most advanced and flexible humanoid robots in the world. The all-new Gen 3 version continues to be upgraded for smoother movement and more precise operations, getting ready for mass production next year. Honestly, Optimus used to be considered one of Tesla's craziest and least feasible projects, mainly because the company's expertise is in electric cars, something completely unrelated to robots. More importantly, Optimus has only appeared in internal demonstrations, even though it was introduced nearly three years ago. There are many reasons behind this, but now the mass production line is complete, and anyone, not just research organizations or large factories, will be able to order a Tesla bot next year. The new Optimus Gen 3 will also have a lower price, thanks to several improvements Elon Musk has revealed. It's an incredibly difficult thing, especially it's difficult to create a... Um a hand that is as dexterous and capable as the human hand, which is an incredible, the human hand is an incredible thing. In order to make it cost like you know, ten or $20,000. Notably, Optimus's hands, which were once only flexible enough to grip basic objects, have now been refined to almost perfectly replicate the mechanical structure and movement of a human hand. Now it can skillfully hold a pen, chop vegetables, or even tie shoelaces like a real person. Sounds like science fiction, right? but the new production line at Tesla's most advanced factory is making it a reality. In the end, Tesla will have the capability to produce tens of millions of Optimus bots each year. So how exactly do the new hands of the Tesla bot Gen 3 resemble human hands, and how does Tesla make sure they're both functionally efficient and cost-effective? Welcome to Tesla Car World. From day one, Tesla made it clear that Optimus isn't just another robot. It's a breakthrough toward a future where machines can take on everyday human tasks. That's why Tesla's design team, led by Milan Kovac, director of engineering for Tesla Optimus, drew inspiration from the human body itself, especially the hands, symbols of precision and creativity. Now, with the latest upgrades, Optimus is closer than ever to the boundary between machine and biology. Its hands feature design, movement, and tactile feedback that closely mimic those of real human hands. Of course, not everyone is convinced by the idea of a robot with human-like hands. Some people find it a bit unsettling, and that's perfectly okay. If you're one of them, drop a one in the comments and tell us what you think. We actually read every single comment. Now let's take a closer look at the most important upgrades, especially the new tactile technology and microcontrol system that Tesla has been quietly developing for Optimus Gen 3 and the next generations, like Gen 4 and Gen 5. According to the Master Plan Part 3, the Optimus Gen 2 will feature a new mechatronic system powered by advanced material artificial actuators that can stretch and respond twice as fast as those in the first generation. These artificial muscles not only enable smoother movements, but also replicate the grip force, curvature, and flexibility of human fingers. Tesla engineers revealed that the new Optimus can pick up an egg without cracking it and hold a hot cup of coffee without spilling something almost impossible for most humanoid robots today. By the time we reach Genesis 3, Optimus's tactile sensing technology has been completely overhauled. Each fingertip now contains hundreds of tiny pressure sensors that act like artificial nerve cells, sending real-time feedback to a central processing unit located in the robot's chest. This combination allows Optimus not only to see the world through its cameras, but also to feel it with its hands, a major step closer to achieving truly human-like dexterity. And to help you see and believe it for yourself, Tesla showcased the bot live at the University of Pennsylvania, where students got to witness its performance on stage. In the auditorium, Optimus slowly raised its hand. A series of ultra-small servo mechanisms activated in perfect sync, and the finger joints moved so smoothly and naturally that the audience could hardly believe it was a machine. Each finger could bend, extend, tilt, and rotate, accurately simulating the 27 degrees of freedom of a human hand, even though the system actually uses only 22 control axes. The robot tilted its wrist, the thumb rotated into an opposing position, and the three middle fingers curved naturally into a pen-holding posture. The pen was lifted, the tip touched the paper. Each stroke was smooth and steady, no shaking, no breaks. When it finished writing, the robot released the pen with a motion as gentle as a breath. The hand opened, and the thumb and index finger separated with delicate precision, guided by hundreds of tactile feedback signals. 
When Optimus raised his hand toward the audience, the fingers curled one by one, the thumb extended, then bent upward to form a thumbs up. The gesture was firm yet graceful, drawing laughter from the crowd. Moments later, the robot rotated its wrist and raised two fingers in a peace sign, sparking cheers throughout the auditorium. Still, the Tesla bot Optimus might have been even more impressive if it had moved around the hall and interacted directly with people, like serving popcorn at the Tesla diner, instead of standing still in a separate display area. Back to Tesla, we can probably assume that the newly updated Optimus Gen 3 will cost more than the first generation model. And honestly, that makes perfect sense given the scale of upgrades on the table. Every major technological leap comes with a price. With the integration of autonomous AI systems, new tactile sensing hand mechanisms, and ultralight biomimetic materials, production costs are bound to rise. That said, Tesla has already proven its ability to cut costs through large-scale manufacturing and assembly line optimization. Just like with the Model 3 and Model Y, where prices initially went up after upgrades but gradually dropped as production matured. The same scenario could play out for Optimus. Expect a slightly higher starting price to reflect the breakthrough technology, followed by steady reductions as Tesla moves into mass production of humanoid robots. And frankly, that potential price jump is completely justified. Optimus Gen 3 isn't just a hardware upgrade, it's an evolutionary leap in physical interaction. Its new hands feature 42 independently controlled joints, allowing the robot to grip, twist, and sense force, almost like a real human. Thanks to built-in tactile neural networks, Optimus can feel temperature, pressure, and surface texture, sensations that, until now, only humans could instinctively respond to. Combined with reinforcement learning AI, every hand movement gets fine-tuned over time, making the robot more precise and skillful with each task. Over the years, Optimus has always been seen as one of Elon Musk's boldest and most challenging projects. So far, only a few hundred fully built units exist. Unlike the Model Y, Model 3, or Cybertruck, Optimus has never had a fully automated production line. Most of the robots are still assembled by hand, especially the hands and finger joints, which require extreme precision. That's led to slower production, higher costs, and noticeable variations between individual units. Right now, the company is rolling out a next-generation production line at Gigafactory, Texas, where each Optimus could be assembled in just a few minutes instead of the several weeks originally projected. This system uses robots to assemble other robots, the machine that builds the machine concept Elon Musk has long dreamed of. If everything goes according to plan, Tesla could produce millions of Optimus units each year, opening the door to an entirely new market, humanoid labor. We, we hopefully will be able to make about... Um, 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically, we're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. Unlike the Giga Press used to cast car frames, this next generation production system is designed as a Giga hand press, capable of forging integrated finger and wrist joints from lightweight alloys with high flexibility and elasticity, closely mimicking the structure of human tendons and bones. In the past, each robot hand had to be assembled from more than 150 tiny components. But now the process has been streamlined into just a few solid cast modules, boosting durability and cutting weight by nearly 30%. As Elon Musk once said, you can't truly understand Optimus unless you understand its hands. Implementing unified casting technology for Optimus was anything but simple. The human hand is one of the most complex mechanical structures on the planet, with dozens of joints and incredibly fine neural reflexes. To recreate that in a metal body, Tesla had to develop smart, composite materials that can flex and absorb force while maintaining absolute precision. But with this advanced production line and a new generation of microcontrol systems, Tesla has finally achieved what the entire robotics industry has long dreamed of, mass-producing hands that can actually feel. If everything goes according to plan, Tesla could reach a production rate of one Optimus every 10 minutes, a pace that could truly usher in the era of consumer robotics. At that point, Tesla's biggest challenge, scaling production, would finally be solved. Each unified cast hand is built to last over 10 years, with easy maintenance and near-perfect micro-mechanical precision. Standardizing this structure allows Tesla to bring the cost of each robot down to about the same as a mid-range electric car. No manufacturer, not even Boston Dynamics or Toyota Robotics, 
has ever come close to mass-producing robots with truly functional human-like hands. If everything goes according to plan, 2026 could mark a historic milestone, the year Tesla officially enters the era of mass-producing humanoid robots. But what truly sets Optimus Gen 3 apart from every other robot is its AI brain, trained on real-world data from Tesla's vehicles. Just like full self-driving in Tesla cars, Optimus is learning to understand the world through billions of frames and scenarios collected by the Tesla Vision System. This allows it to anticipate, react, and even adapt its behavior based on context, knowing, for example, when to hold something gently and when to grip it firmly. Of course, plenty of questions remain. Can Optimus truly work safely alongside humans? Can it learn new skills like folding clothes, cooking, or fixing electronics and plumbing? Elon Musk believes the answer is yes, and even beyond that. Some early Optimus prototypes have already been seen folding shirts, carrying boxes, and assembling Tesla components, all with mechanical hands that move with astonishing dexterity. Those images have left many wondering, if a machine can do all that, what's the next frontier? From our perspective, this isn't just a hardware upgrade. It's an evolutionary leap in Tesla's design philosophy. Moving from self-driving cars to bodies that can learn, feel, and act. If Elon Musk and his team can bring this vision to life, Optimus won't just be an assistant robot. It could mark a turning point in the history of human-machine relationships. So why push for Gen 4 and Gen 5 when Gen 3 isn't even mass-produced yet? According to Elon Musk, orders for the Optimus Gen 3 will be capped at around 10,000 units. If you're hearing that number for the first time, you might think, just like we did, that 10,000 sounds surprisingly low, and maybe Tesla is struggling with production or can't yet scale to meet consumer demand. Many have wondered, why isn't Tesla taking advantage of its current momentum to ramp up mass production? But as Musk explained during Tesla's third quarter financial report event a few days ago, this figure isn't a production limitation. It's a deliberate strategy. The goal is to carefully manage the transition phase between testing and full-scale commercialization. Gen 3, with its ability to perform around 3,000 tasks, marks a major milestone. It proves that humanoid robots can take on practical roles in industrial environments, from assembling and inspecting components to assisting with internal logistics. However, Musk understands that the human world extends far beyond the factory floor. In reality, there are anywhere from 10,000 to over a million unique situations, depending on the level of intelligence and autonomy required, that a robot must handle if it truly wants to integrate into everyday life. With Gen 3, even though it has achieved impressive precision and autonomy, the system still relies heavily on structured environments, like Tesla's factories, where tasks are repetitive, predictable, and easy to control. The same applies to domestic settings with fixed layouts, such as kitchens or enclosed rooms with well-defined boundaries. That's why current Optimus units have mostly appeared in Tesla diners, showrooms, and, at most, in controlled movements during Tesla's internal events. That's why Generation 3 is being positioned as a strategic testing phase, not a mass market product. The limited order count is meant to give Tesla enough room to experiment, to try, fail, learn, and improve. Every Gen 3 unit that rolls out becomes a living data collector, feeding back millions of real-world insights about motion, tactile response, vision, and interaction within real environments. This data will form the foundation for training, and refining the central AI intelligence behind Optimus Gen 4 and Gen 5. For that reason, instead of immediately ramping up mass production of Gen 3, Tesla has chosen to allocate more resources to developing Gen 4 and Gen 5, two generations aimed at fully upgrading autonomy and adaptability across both industrial and everyday environments. Their goal isn't just to build a robot that works, but to create an entity that can coexist with humans, moving, perceiving, learning, and responding like a true coworker not only in factories, homes, and supermarkets, but also operating independently in areas like agriculture, search and rescue, and even medical environments, as Elon Musk himself has confirmed. Elon Musk understands that mass-producing a generation of robots that isn't fully matured would expose Tesla to enormous maintenance costs, commercial risks, and, most importantly, a slowdown in technological progress. Instead, by capping Gen 3 production at 10,000 units, Tesla can collect real-world data while testing the artificial neural feedback system of Optimus in live environments, a goldmine of information for training Gen 4. According to Tesla's research roadmap, Gen 4 will expand the range of tasks and strengthen self-learning and autonomous capabilities in semi-structured environments such as warehouses, 
construction sites, hospitals, and residential areas. Generation 5, looking even further ahead, is expected to become a fully autonomous version, capable of making decisions, communicating, and adapting almost like a real human being. Gen 4 and Gen 5 will represent a true leap forward, where Optimus won't just follow commands, but will be able to make decisions on its own in open-ended situations, powered by self-learning AI and enhanced tactile visual sensing. This is the core of Musk's long-term vision transforming Optimus into a mobile intelligence platform that can be replicated and adapted across industries, not just confined to the production line. According to the latest information, Gen 4 and 5 will be upgraded to use Tesla's highest-end chips, AI7 and AI8, instead of Gen 3 currently using the AI5 chip. During Tesla's third quarter 2025 earnings call, Musk called A, I, 5, a beautiful chip, and a total redesign that reimagines everything Tesla built with the AI4 processor currently used in its vehicles and data centers. Co-manufactured by Samsung in Texas and TSMC in Arizona, AI5 is expected to deliver up to 40 times more performance than its predecessor while consuming less power. To achieve this, Tesla's engineers removed legacy components like GPUs and image signal processors, building instead a semi-mesh architecture optimized for end-to-end -end AI computing. This power will first come to life inside Optimus Gen 3, Tesla's humanoid robot now capable of performing roughly 3,000 tasks. Powered by AI5, Gen 3 will serve as a bridge between experimentation and commercialization, each robot acting as a living data collector to train the company's neural networks in motion, vision, and tactile feedback. But Musk is already looking ahead. He confirmed that Optimus Gen 4 and Gen 5 will run on Tesla's upcoming AI8 chips, bringing far greater autonomy, adaptive reasoning, and sensory awareness. Unlike Generation 3, which thrives in structured factory environments, future generations are being designed to navigate semi-structured and open spaces, warehouses, hospitals, construction sites, and even homes. With AI8, Optimus will no longer just follow commands. It will make its own decisions in real time. Musk describes this leap as transforming Optimus from a robot that works into a co-worker that thinks. Critics call it ambitious. Musk calls it inevitable. By designing its own silicon, Tesla controls every layer of its AI infrastructure, a vertical integration that few companies can match. So when Optimus Gen 3 evolves into the fully autonomous Gen 5, should we trust a private company like Tesla to control humanoid robots powered by self-learning AI chips? Or does that kind of power demand public oversight? Please share your opinion in the comment section below the video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share with this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.